Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and I just want to do an example of how to make a, a PT graph. A PT graph, as, a, as the name implies, is a position versus time graph, where position is going to be on our uh, y-axis over here. So we got position going in over here. So you haven't seen it right yet? It's right here. This is my position. Position means displacement. And it's not distance. It's just how far out of place I am compared to when I started. And we're going to have on the x-axis time, and we're going to fill in this time, making it, you know... Uh, every every two seconds will be one of these blocks. So it's a position versus time graph, and we're going to simply try to express where our one-dimensional kinematics, our one-dimensional motion on a graph. So let's get into this here. A student at rest begins to walk to the right. So a student is at rest, and we're going to start off at zero, uh, you know, displacement of zero. And so if we kind of you know pick somewhere to draw on here, I'm going to be right here. This is my where I'm starting. I'm going to, after six seconds, move a distance of eight meters. And here's where I'm pulling this from. After six seconds, I'm moving a distance of eight meters. So I'm just going to go down to six seconds here. There's six seconds, and I've gone a distance of eight meters. And I'm just going to mark that point right there. So check this out, guys. My my dude has now, over the course of six seconds, gone away from its original position eight meters. And I'm just going to graph that as a, a line back to the origin. Please forgive my uh, my drawing here. Uh, it should be a straight line. It's not meant to be squirrely like it is. My dude then stops for four seconds, and I see that right here. So he stops for four seconds. Now, kind of, this is really important for us, and, and you have to ask yourself, I'm at now, time is 10 seconds. What has my displacement changed? You know, have I gone anywhere? If I haven't gone anywhere, recall that this is position or displacement how far away I am from my original position. And guess what? I am still 8 meters away. I'm just stuck there, and I'm going to be there for 4 seconds. All right, so this is me at rest. All right, so on a PT graph, when I am not moving, I'm just chilling out in one spot, I kind of have a straight plateau. What has changed? My time has changed, but you'll notice my displacement is still 8 meters. And that's kind of key for us for interpreting position versus time graphs. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. And then we proceed to walk again to the right, you know, 6 meters in 6 seconds. So I have another bit of data here. I'm going 6 meters in 6 seconds, right word. So I still have positive, okay? So at this point, I am now going to go from 10 seconds... I'm going to go all the way up to 16 seconds. And so here's 16 seconds. And I'm going to go six more meters to the right. So I'm at eight right now. I'm now going to put myself at a place six more meters. And that should put me up to around 14 meters. So I'm going to try and find the point for 14 meters and also 16, and which is right there. And I'm going to try to do my best straight line right over there. My guy then rests for two seconds. All right, guys, he's going to rest for two seconds. All right, so here we go. I'm going to rest for two seconds. That goes from 16 to 18. When I rest, that means I don't move. And if you recall from our last time when we rested, it was a straight line like this. I'm going to rest, and I am resting at 14 meters. So I'm 14 meters out of place. I'm going to rest for two seconds like this. All right, so as you see, once again, I'm resting. That kind of says rest. I know it's a, it's a little messed up up there. Okay. My then, my guy, walks back to where he started. All right. He's going to walk back to where he started for a distance of 10 meters. All right. Now I'm at 14 meters out of place. I'm going to start walking back to where I started for 10 meters. So I'm looking at this. I'm going from 14 meters, and I'm going to subtract out of there 10 meters. I'm going to go down to around 4 meters away. Because I'm walking backwards to where I was. And and that's going to put me at two more seconds, 20 seconds total. And I'm doing my best to draw a straight line down there. This is not easy on this pen here. All right, dudes. So check this out. This is, at the end, where I am. Okay? Where am I? I'm going to be right here. That's where I end the day off at. All right? That's my end of my journey. How far out of place am I? Well, the dude is actually right now has a displacement. Look under your uh, axis over here. That's four, and that's a two. I'm actually still 
four meters. Now, that should be a four. My pen is really squirrely here. Four meters out of place. So check this out, dudes. I'm four meters out of place. Anytime I am moving with constant positive velocity, I see a diagonal line going upwards. That's going to be called constant. This is really bad. constant positive velocity and that's kind of shown by an upward all right an upward line right there over here I also see that I am moving with constant positive velocity as well that's going to be a diagonal line going upwards like that and in this case I have over here if I'm heading back towards the origin I'm going to have what's known as negative velocity or constant negative velocity doesn't mean it's a bad thing it just means that my velocity is now heading back towards where I started Okay, uh, this could be considered constant positive velocity. Um, I could also have, uh, this is also known as rightward. So this would be considered rightward velocity and rightward displacement. And this is simply heading leftward, so it's going to be negative velocity or leftward mo motion. So at the end of the day, my dude has traveled a lot of distance. The total distance is going to be, <laughs> that's the phone. Hold on. All right, guys, so uh, I just got a phone call. And you heard that, and that kind of, kind of, I kind of lost my spot here. So at the end of the day, here my guys move four meters. Anytime I have this upward slope, that means I have positive constant velocity. How do I know? Well, moving in a positive displacement. Anytime I have positive displacement over a course of time, I have positive velocity. Any plateau I find is a resting point where I don't move at all. And once again, constant positive velocity. I'm resting. I'm chilling out. And now I have constant negative velocity negative displacement as I head back towards where I began. All in all, I'm out of place, four meters. All right, guys, sorry for the penmanship here, but I hope it was helpful. hope it explains a few things, all right? Have a good day.